Are there circumstances that come to mind in your ERC where your board has been called upon to use some flexibility or outside the box thinking to allow research to progress in an ethical way? Well, um, when we were doing research with MSMs, men who have sex with men, um, we allowed that the informed consent documents could remain within our, the confines of a clinic rather than giving the participant a copy to go home with because we knew it was unsafe for them. So that one we just said, sure, no problem. Um, our consent document for the MSMs, again, never mentioned homosexuality. We all knew that's what we were looking for, but we just you know, made it very general, just report anybody who reports anal sex, and we left it at that. So those are things which, in an informed consent document, when you're being, uh, when you're trying to be very clear and to disclose everything, so that it's very clear in the informed consent document, obviously our informed consent document was not very clear. It was deliberately obscure. <laughs> and that way, so that we could protect our participants. Another way we um, allow some flexibility in many parts of our country, you can't consent an individual. They will come in with their whole family. So you cannot say that, oh, this is supposed to be private, it's supposed to be confidential. I mean, if you don't allow the whole family in, then you're not going to consent the person. Hmm. So you know, you know that autonomy, um, somebody's not supposed to have any outside constraints on their decision. And here you have people in front of you having an, a discussion. And you can even see that the participant is not very keen to be in the study. But in the end, as the conversation ebbs and flows, um, she agrees to be in the study. So you might want to say, then, why do you accept them? If they were, you know, you can obviously see she was, the conversation she has led her to saying yes, but that's the way they operate. And interestingly enough, it will be disrespectful for persons not to um, enroll them into the study because when they go back home, they'll be in trouble with their friends or their community because they all came for the meeting, they all came for the informed consent. So those are some of the ways where we've been flexible. When we think of the Belmont principle and the spirit in which it was given, autonomy, self-rule, <laughs> yeah, that one is other people rule, but I don't know. So that's how. <laughs>